If you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you about something that I was wrong about. Now, the number of times I've admitted my, I'm wrong in my life is now two. In 1963, I thought I was wrong about something, but it turned out I was right, so I'll still count that one. But here's an interesting thing. Uh, as some of you know who you listen to me, I tend to get a little uh, ranty when people ask certain kinds of questions. Um, there's certain exercises I don't necessarily like. I'll explain why I like them, and it's like, and then people keep asking, why don't you like them? And I keep saying, I keep feeling like, well, you know, I did explain that but you keep asking the same question. I'm not going to change my mind. You're not going to change my mind, but you're totally free to do anything you want. So let's put that here. The big issue is this. People ask me about other people's programs, programs I have nothing to do with. I didn't write. I wasn't part of the evolution of it. Uh, I might know the person personally, uh, eat dinner at their house, uh, maybe even be, uh, you know, good friends with them. Um, but when you ask about these programs, and I guess the best examples would be uh, uh, RIPs, Starting Strength, uh, Simple and Sinister. I get those questions all the time. Uh, even some people will ask me about Marty Gallagher's uh, One Workout a Week program, by the way, which I think is marvelous. Um, but I didn't realize something. And uh, thankfully, uh, <laughs> the gentle listeners have, have told me this. I've received a number of thank you uh, emails and little notes here and there for talking about these issues because, and I've got nothing against it, but there's a, uh, there's a thing that, that kind of gets me a little bit, uh, where if you do go to the forums, you go to the sites and you ask a question, I'm struggling. What I've been told is the response is always this, just follow the program. Well, I can't because of the following reasons. Well, then just follow the program. Well, I'm stalled out. Well, just follow the program. And that is something I've never been comfortable with. Um, I'm a big believer as a coach, and I think you're crazy if you don't believe what I'm about to say, in the feedback loop. Every single program I have, what you might miss is the loop. We went through this program three, four, 10, 15 times and kept getting better and better because when we write the program and universally I've done every program I've ever written for you or anybody else, I then give it to you or Paul or Brian or, or Lindsay or Kelly and we start to do it. And then all of a sudden, and by the way, it might be brilliant on paper. It might be brilliant on a spreadsheet, but in the practical use, there's glaring errors. Well, the moment you say, hey, Dan, here's the problem I'm having. My job as the coach is to go, oh, you know, you're right. I, I didn't think that through. And so your feedback makes the, the program better. A good example is what's happening right now with Brian. You know, Brian is a guy behind, uh, behind the scenes who, who runs Dan John uh, University. Well, he's doing the easy strength program with the complexes. Well, he made a, he has his own little goal. He wants to increase his clean and press. So we took the program. So he's doing snatches and clean and press. By the way, this is a great idea. And yet he ran into a problem because complex A, which was done uh, alternate, alternatively with complex C, has a lot of pressing in it. Well, he was pressing with high reps and then pressing for strength. And he was getting too much pressing in, which some people would disagree with, but uh, for those of us who've ever done a lot of pressing, it happens. So in about a 30 second conversation, Brian and I switched him to just doing complex C, which is snatch, overhead squat, back squat, good morning, row, snatch, grip, deadlift, sets of eight, five or three, back to back to back to back, and boom, wouldn't you know it, Within a few days, he gets his lifetime best clean and press. Yay for us. Yay for us. We are so great. And that's the key here. Because he told me there was a problem, we were able to turn, get that. <laughs> you know, a great way to think of being a coach is like being a captain of a sailboat. Um, we know we're going in this direction, but the wind is blowing funny. So I have to tack 
back and forth until we get to the port that we want to be at. Sometimes when you put together a program, you spend your, yourself as a ship's captain spinning that wheel and adjusting those sails a lot more than you would think. It's uh, Coaching is not like being a power boat where you just go and just point the bow and just go. So feedback is so important. If I was uh, running a specific kind of program, and, and I do this, I, I would have a forum where people would ask questions and as we answer those questions and fix those questions, we would begin to use those to develop um, Dan John Wonderful Program 1.0, Wonderful Program 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 9.7, .1 okay? I think Jim Wendler does a real good job with this with 531 because there is a template called 531 and in it is a whole bunch of variations of the basic program and then there's a whole other section, which I think is marvelous, of different additional tools you can add on to it. And I think Jim is a real leader in our field because, yes, he has a program with a template. But then he has all these options depending on what's going on in your life. And I just think it's, it's genius. So if I am part of your feedback loop, I have to catch myself and remind myself and, and honestly, it's an honor to be part of the feedback loop. And I know a lot of people online are probably rolling their eyes right now, but it's nice when someone trusts you with, you know, one of the most precious possessions they have, their body. And they're trying to improve their body. They're trying to improve their systems. And they ask for help. I've got to be kinder and to assist. So... Even though I don't feel like I'm an expert on everybody else's programs, I think I'm good with helping you with the issues that come up. And folks, let me tell you, if you live like a hermit and you have a trust fund and uh, you have great training partners and somebody else cooks your food and you sleep 12 hours a night, you know, you could probably do just about any program you decide to do. But for the rest of us... Uh, as I'm speaking, you know, uh, I'm getting questions. Uh, I travel a lot. So people ask me about this thing called the coronavirus. Well, I didn't even consider the coronavirus. And yet now I have to start thinking about my travel plans with the coronavirus. Well, that's great. Well, it snowed the other day. Well, that changed my workout because you can't do the workout I want to do because it snowed. What I'm saying, folks, is I have a real life. I've had, I've had people throw up on me, uh, my daughter's. I had the other day my dog throw up on the floor as I was going out to the gym. Well, if your dog vomits on the floor, today's workout's going to be slightly different than what you planned. For one thing, you'll probably stay fasting just a little longer than you thought because you have no interest in food after your dog vomits all over the carpet. The carpet. He missed the hardwood floor, which is easy to clean. Thank you, Sirius Black. So I'm going to do my best to be much more helpful when it comes to this kind of thing. And for those of you who do coach, those who do train, the best gift you have is that feedback loop with your client. When you ask them, what did you think of this? And if they say, you know, the first blank was good and then X happened, take a note of it, either physically take a note of it or mentally take a note of it and constantly make things a little better. That's what we're striving for, folks. It's like in the Brothers Karamazov, you know, the very famous thing with the Father Zosima. You know, what we're trying to do here is bit by bit get a little better. You know, in, in throwing, John Powell had that great line. Yard by yard, it's hard, but inch by inch, it's a cinch. I think the feedback loop is that inch by inch improvement that makes good coaches great coaches. It makes okay programs pretty good programs. And by the way, in my world, my vision, pretty good is the highest thing I can say about a program. So thank you and keep sending those questions to me.